Hello fellow visitors, welcome to my channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of data visualization. What do you think data visualization is? Data visualization for me is structuring data so that no one has to put in a lot of effort to consume the information and the message that we are trying to put forth. And since we have heard a lot of hype about Chat GPT, I thought of why not collaborating with Chat GPT for this video. So I went to Chat GPT and asked it to share a qualitative data visualization design challenge with me. And this is what I got. So the scenario that it offered me says that you work for a social media company that wants to understand user sentiments towards their platform. They have conducted a survey asking users to provide feedback on their experiences. The survey responses are qualitative in nature, with users sharing their thoughts, opinions, and suggestions. It says for the challenge, I am supposed to design a qualitative data visualization that effectively represents the user's sentiments towards the social media platform. Your visualization should allow stakeholders to quickly grasp the overall sentiment trends and identify key themes within the feedback. And it also gave me a couple of aspects that I could consider while designing, but I just wanted to stop right there because that's my challenge. I also asked ChatGPT to share some survey responses with me so that I can have a base to start with. So I have all this information on my screen right now and as you can see it's a lot of information very hard for anyone to consume if we just ask them to go ahead and read this. It will take them a lot of time to go through this entire information and then process it. So as a data visualization expert my job over here is to design all this information in a way so that it is less time consuming to consume it. Second the message is clear. What the message is? The two things that has been mentioned in the design challenge. One, we need to lay out the sentiment trends for stakeholders. Two, we need to see what are the key trends that have been stated in this particular information. First of all, we really need to see which company we are working for and for that I'm creating a circle in the center and I'm thinking of naming this company social. Great, so now we have an understanding what content do we need to start with. Then we have what company we are going to work for. Next is what are our targets, that is sentiment trends and key things that we have to figure out from the content that we have. Now starts our job and I have decided to first categorize all these feedback into good feedback and bad feedback and hence the color says get for bad and read for good. So once I have categorized all this feedback, I'm reading all these feedbacks into detail because for me to present this information in a virtually consumable manner that would save the audience time, I need to first understand what this information is and that is the most important job of a data viz. We have to first understand what the information is and I'm stressing in here because it's very important. I got a glimpse of what all these points are saying. Now it's time to figure out the key themes for these. So I'll reread these and mark what I found to be the most important point for this one. And for the last one, I find the interface to be the issue. So it says the platform user interface is outdated and clunky. It needs a major design overhaul to improve the overall user experience. So it's the interface that's the issue and I'm also keeping it in red so that I remember. It's a bad experience and that's the issue for the bad experience. For the next point, I think the platform could benefit from more diverse content. It often feels like a bubble and I would like to see a window which has diverse perspectives and voices. So definitely it's the content issue that is leading us to this bad feedback. I appreciate the platform efforts to combat misinformation. The fast checking feature helps in identifying misleading information. It is crucial in today's digital age. So it's the misinformation, combating the misinformation, which is making this user give us a good feedback. Awesome. 
the platform's privacy settings and need improvement i feel like my personal information is not adequately protected if there were more robust privacy options okay so it's the privacy concern that this user is having the privacy settings it's stated in there so i'm i'm not manipulating the words that they have stated because these are user feedbacks i want to keep the content realistic and authentic but all this information is not important to be presented on a visualization that's why we are trying to find the themes and trends so far so good i have figured out all the key points that i want from these user feedbacks now it's time to get into creating a visualization i would recommend you to pause the video and read the user feedbacks and the key trends or topics that we have figured out from them for your understanding because without understanding we can't create the visualizations so understanding of content is the first step towards creating an effective data visualization now for this one we have a lot of options in which we can visualize this information but in the interest of time i'm keeping this video short which is my target for this video so i'm heading into the one design that i have finalized for this one and i have decided so these are eight feedbacks that we have received so i have created a circle around the social icon and i have split that into eight parts and i'm thinking like i'll color each segment as per the feedback that they are like if 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 it, if that's good so i'll color it green if that's bad i'll color it red I've added these lines that are coming out of the bolder segment, which will suggest what the bolder segment is telling us. I'm creating a smiley so that we can capture the sentiment that particular user had while giving us the feedback. The line that I have added, I have matched its angle with the other line, the white line that they have, that's 45 degree, so that they look consistent. So we have created the data that we want, like the points that we want. So we have listed them. We have figured out the trends. Now it's time for us to create the visual. And while creating the visual, it is very important that all the elements that we are adding in that particular visual are cohesive. And when they are cohesive, they connect with one another and they unite together to tell a stronger story to our audience. I've quickly laid out all the information that we have highlighted on the right hand side, staying connected, addictive, compact information. So these are the words and I'm also colouring them yellow. So I remember which feedbacks I have already added to my database. So I'm thinking of uh, going, so usually when a person sees an information, so they usually go from left to right. So I thought of starting with the good feedback that they have received and then on the right hand side we'll be going towards the negative feedback for each segment i'm stating the words that we have already figured out from the feedback that is in big bold so in case you don't want to go into details then okay this is the issue which is making that person unhappy and below that i'm also adding text at a smaller font size which is the detail okay what led to this particular feedback so in case privacy if you don't want to get more details again go ahead and read on the content i'm rereading the feedback that we have received so that i can figure out okay, what what words we need to highlight so for privacy it says robust and in the first line it says privacy settings need improvement so i have written that privacy settings need improvement and that's the feedback that we have received. Now, I just copied pasted the left side towards the right side and I'm just editing the content now. And the next point is about interface. And I picked up the words that the user has shared with us. Quickly go ahead and add the words and the accompanying text. Feel free to pause the video and see how I'm pulling out words from this if you would like. I'm really liking how this information has started to show up. And I think now it's time to add the title to it as well. And for the title, survey results, tracking customer sentiments, trends, and key things. So that that is the title, but still it's it's not pretty lively. 
so i will have to go ahead and do something to make that more catchy so that the person is interested in exploring this data visualization because the visualization in itself looks very enticing captivating i'm also playing around with colors to see if i can capture the sentiments better and i have added the company color towards the title so that it it stands out what this graphic says i'm playing around with this overall graphic to see is there anything that needs to be done and i think one thing that needs to be done is so entire graphic is curved you see the icons that we have they are curved the circle in the center they are curved so we need to add these curved lines in our graphic here so that it's cohesive like i was saying in the start it's very important that the elements speak to one another and for that as a designer we need to ensure that that's happening so i am making all the elements that we have on this particular graphic curved so that they look part of a pack and not some distinct elements and you can see for yourself like how a slight change the curvature of lines is helping us in giving a personality to this data visualization i'm already loving the output that i have created so far i'm proud of myself this is what we had initially blocks of content but over time we figured out how we can find the sentiment trends and the key themes in here and present that to our stakeholders of sociocon which is an imaginary company of course and it's pretty good we can quickly see what issues are leading to bad feedback interface content content privacy cyberbullying that's very easy okay what's in content that's causing the issue it lacks diversity algorithmic fit is frustrating and the title itself says survey results tracking customer sentiment trends and key themes so i know what is being presented in this graphic why are the clear title that we have for this data visualization and the visualization itself is very clear so that a person can quickly understand what this data is all about and that's what the job of a good data viz is making the graphic more consumable i would say because in in very less time a person can consume all the information that was present in that chunk of text that we started with feel free to let me know what do you think about this visualization that we have done today hope you liked it if not let me know how i can improve i'll be up for that till then sayonara see you again sometime soon